India Idea Summit. I also congratulate the US IBC on its 45th anniversary this year. Over the past decades, the US IBC has brought Indian and American business closure. US IBC's choice of this year's summit, idea summit, summit, building a better future is also very, very relevant. Friends, we all agree that the world is in need for a better future. And it is all of us who have to collectively give shape to the future. I firmly believe that our approach to the future must primarily be a more human-centric one. Our growth agenda must place the poor and vulnerable at the core. Ease of living is as important as ease of business. Friends, recent experience has taught us that the global economy has been too focused on efficiency and optimization. Efficiency is a good thing, but on the way we forgot to focus on something equally important, that is resilience against external shocks. It has taken a global pandemic to remind us how important resilience is. Friends, global economic resilience can be achieved by stronger domestic economic capacities. This means improved domestic capacity for manufacturing, restoring the health of the financial system, and diversification of international trade. Friends, India is contributing towards a prosperous and resilient world through the Plarian call of an Atma Nirbhar Bharat. And for that, we await your partnership. Friends, today there is global optimism towards India. This is because India offers a perfect combination of openness, opportunities, and options. Let me elaborate. India celebrates openness in people and in governance. Open minds make open markets. Open markets lead to greater prosperity. These are principles on which both India and the USA agree. Friends, during the last six years, we have made many efforts to make our economy more open and reform-oriented. Reforms have ensured increased competitiveness, enhance transparency, expand digitization, greater innovation, and more policy stability. Friends, India is emerging as a land of opportunities. Let me give you one example of the tech sector. 
recently an interesting report came out in india it said for the first time ever there are more rural internet users than even urban internet users imagine the scale there are about half a billion active internet users in india now half a billion connected people does this sound huge to you hold your breath because there are over half a billion more people who are being connected opportunities in technology also include opportunities in frontier technologies of 5g big data analytics quantum computing blockchain and internet of things friends the option to invest in india are extensive india invites you to invest in the hard work of our farmers india has done historic reforms in the agriculture sector recently there are investment opportunities in agriculture inputs and machinery agriculture supply chain management ready to eat items fisheries and organic produce india's food processing sector is expected to be worth over half a trillion dollars by 2025 to grow more streams of revenue the best time to tap investment opportunities in indian agriculture sector is now india invites you to invest in healthcare the healthcare sector in india is growing faster than 22% every year our companies are also progressing in production of medical technology telemedicine and diagnostics india and the us have already built a robust partnership in the pharma sector to achieve scale and speed now is the best time to expand your investment in indian healthcare sector india invites you to invest in energy as india evolves into a gas based economy there will be big investment opportunities for us companies there are also big opportunities in the clean energy sector to generate more power for your investment this is the best time to enter the indian power sector india invites you to invest in infrastructure our nation is witnessing the largest infrastructure creation drive in our history come be a partner in building housing for millions or building roads highways and ports in our nation civil aviation is another area of great potential growth the number of air passengers are expected to more than double within next 8 years the top private indian airlines plan to include over 1000 new aircraft over the coming decade this is a huge opportunity for any investor who chooses to set up manufacturing facilities in india which can become a base for supplying regional markets a similar case is obvious for setting up maintenance repair and operation facilities to give flight to your aviation targets this is an ideal time to invest in the indian aviation sector 
India invites you to invest in defense and space. We are raising the FDI cap for investment in defense sector to 74%. India has established two defense corridors to encourage production of defense equipment and platforms. We offer special incentives for private and foreign investors. A few weeks ago, we cleared path-breaking reforms in the space sector. Come, be a part of these upcoming sectors. India invites you to invest in finance and insurance. India has raised FDI cap for investment in insurance to 49%. Now, 100% FDI is permitted for investment in insurance intermediaries. The insurance market in India is growing at a rate of more than 12% and is expected to grow to $250 billion by 2025. With the success of Ayushman Bharat, our health assurance scheme, PM Fasal Bima Yojana, our crop insurance scheme, and Jan Suraksha, our social security schemes, the government has laid the ground for quick adoption and acceptance of insurance products. There are large untapped opportunities for increasing insurance cover in health, agriculture, business, and life insurance. To generate long-term and assured revenues, the Indian insurance sector is one of the best investment options right now. I have given you a few options and that too without any consultancy fees. Friends, when the markets are open, when the opportunity is high, and the options are many, can optimism be far behind? You can see the optimism when India rise in key business ratings, particularly the ease of doing business rating of the World Bank. Investment is the base show of confidence. Every year, we are reaching record highs in FDI. Each year, it's significantly higher than the earlier one. FDI inflows in India in 2019-20 were $74 billion. This is an increase of 20% from the year before that. Friends, in US IBC, informed that pledge investment from the U.S. has already crossed $40 billion this year. Also, see what has happened even during the ongoing pandemic. In the middle of COVID, India has attracted foreign investment of more than $20 billion between April and July 2020. But India offers many more opportunities. We have what is needed to power the global economic recovery. Friends, the rise of India means a rise in trade opportunities with a nation that you can trust. A rise in global integration with increasing openness, a rise in your competitiveness with access to a market which offers scale, and a rise in your returns on investment 
with availability of skilled human resources friends for this vision there are few better partners than the united states of america india and the usa are two vibrant democracies with shared values we are natural partners thus us india friendship has scaled many heights in the past now it is time our partnership plays an important role in helping the world bounce back faster after the pandemic american investors often look out for the perfect timing to enter a sector or a country to them i would like to say there has never been a better time to invest in india i once again thank the us ibc leadership for the commitment to advancing india us economic partnership may the us ibc keep scaling new heights may the india america friendship grow further namaste thank you